All right. While I was in YouTube jail for a week, um, I did a bunch of the sunspot <coughs> observations. Um, and I'm using two ND1000 in, uh, filters, solar filters for shooting the sun. So I don't know what you would figure that out as far as, uh, you know, the, the amount of uh, light that I'm cutting out using the two 1000 uh, ND filters. But um, they do come out pretty good. Um, Focusing sometimes is a little tougher than others, uh, depending on where the sun is in the sky. And I did some of these from uh, different times. They're not all from the same exact times, but um, this is the 21st. Um, I did miss out on the 23rd and the 24th. Um, worked late, didn't have time, tired, didn't even want to monkey with my camera. Um, I did get a little bit of uh, moon footage. Um, but, you know, that's safe for another day or never show at all. Uh, I've got a lot of footage that I've never shown, uh, but you can actually see some of the little specks of other tiny little sunspots. Um, this one looks like a little tadpole. <laughs> uh, and then we got the, the 22nd coming up here. Um, 22nd, I do believe I shot this uh, from a higher point uh, it, when it was in the sky. Um, again, here, you know, trying to get a really good uh, focus on it is a little tough, but I, I do manage to get a good one. Also, I've got some wind that occurs that kind of, um, you know, gets the camera a little shaky. Um, you know, almost all these days it was fairly windy. I was trying to find places in my yard where I could stand, where I could get out of the wind, but you know, all these little specks show up a little bit different or a little bit better um, on the 22nd than it did on the 21st. Um, and I actually wish I would have got uh, the 23rd and the 24th because uh, another set of uh, sunspots did pop up. Um, but you know, what are we actually looking at? Um, are we looking at maybe stars, star clusters, um, or are these actually coming right off the sun? You know, if you go by, you know, science, they're telling you that these are actually right on the sun themselves. Uh, you've seen a little lens uh, reflection there, internal lens reflection or image reflection. Um, but here's where these other sunspots occur. And like I said, I missed out. This is the 24th. I missed out on the 23rd and 24th. So where these came from, I'm not really sure, but, you know, I just was kind of surprised to see, um, you know, more sunspots occurring almost in a horseshoe shape. <clears throat> um, if you go over to Sandra on um, Who Picks P900 channel, she probably has the 23rd and 24th. She also does some really amazing videos of the sunspots, so definitely check her channel out. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link to her channel. There's some few other people that are doing some sunspots. Uh, I think it's, um, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, God. Um, he's from Australia. Um, he's, he's doing some bear by design. That's, that's who it is. And uh, also Harry, um, I forget his first original channel, but Harry's doing some from over in Australia too. He was waiting on his ND1000 filter, which uh, I think he's going to find that he's going to get a much better uh, you know, footage than using a welding lens on his camera. Um, some of these are a little bit longer than others, but um, I wanted to put them all together in one video because if I didn't um, I probably wouldn't show but a couple of these and that's it um, you know so I, I decided to do a kind of compilation compilation of them um, you know because I, I do like to share some of my stuff but then you know I get off on other things and I forget about showing um, some of the other footage so 
I decided, like I said, to just put all these in one big clump. Um, especially, too, being that I only missed two days out of these. But um, I have missed, uh, like yesterday, I don't think I did anything yesterday on the sun at all or the day before. Um, but, you know, I wanted to talk about my YouTube jail sentence, too. Um, I, I got a strike, my first strike ever, from mirroring a video that I got off of YouTube. Okay, I got it off of the YouTube plat platform, and I mirrored it. Um, and then, next thing I know, it's being taken down off my channel. And I'm given a strike. Now, the person that I actually got it from was uh, Taboo um, Conspiracy. And I did go to his channel and found out, wow, they deleted they deleted it off of his channel too. But it was already too late. I had already mirrored it. So why are they giving me a strike for mirroring something off of their platform that they allowed to go on their platform? I was going to appeal it. But I figured the way YouTube is working and the way that they're censoring, they weren't going to, um, they weren't going to reverse their decision to give me a strike. They, they, they want to wipe out our channels. They, they don't want channels like mine or Taboo or anybody else doing truth videos. They certainly don't want any on the, uh, VA double X stuff, um, because people, people's whole channels have been taken down over that um, and that's another reason why too I've always kind of stuck with the observational videos because I really didn't want to get into getting strikes for using other people's material unless you know I had their permission which usually I ask for permission before I do use anybody's uh, uh, footage but as you notice this horseshoe shape kind of changes a little bit um, is it changing due to it, it being on a ball? Is the sun a ball or is the sun a disc? Or is it, um, you know, some other kind of weird shape that we're just uh, seeing it as a ball as far as optical effects go? Um, you could have a square light and, you know, with the right amount of lighting and whatnot, it, it could wind up looking like a, a ball uh, because light actually reflects it all the way around it. So, I'm not saying that the sun is a square, but um, <laughs> you, know, you, you just get different days where um, you, know, you get different effects. Um, now, one of these days, I think it was the last video, I was actually shooting between my tree branches, uh, between the trees to get the sun, because I came home, it was late, I didn't want to go anywhere, so I just shot between the tree. Um, between the branches, I mean, big oak tree, and, and was able to get it pretty good, uh, but only for a short time, uh, because, of course, I got the blockage of everything else coming in the way. That's why you've seen some of the Spanish moss that was hanging in into the video. Um, yeah, it was the last one that I showed before this. Um, and this was uh, this is the 27th, I believe, on this particular one. And then the last one is going to be on the 28th. Um, but I, I, I think these sunspots are pretty unique, uh, pretty interesting. But I wouldn't say that they're, I mean, personally, I would not say that they're actually attached to the sun. They might be something going in front of the sun that we don't know exactly, but we're looking at trying to see if they do match up with some car star constellations or some uh, star clusters um, but I, I am I'm not saying that that's exactly what it is either I'm not making that claim I'm just saying that it's a possibility that it is um, so you know don't don't take that the wrong way and say that I am making this claim that this is um, you know, star clusters. I'm just saying that it's a possibility. Okay, this is the 28th. On the 28th here, right? This was a little shakier footage. A um, little more shake wind. Um, so I did edit this a little bit. I got this first part and then I got a little second part to it. But after the um, transition, it's going to be the same 
video. Um, so you will see a transition here, and then you're going to see the same video. But you, know, you can see that that one cluster um, is more on the edge and not, I mean, barely visible. But you can also see these other blemishes on the sun that I think are uh, pretty interesting. Um, you know, are they actually on the sun or in front of the sun? Um, and that's up to you to decide. And, you know, I don't care which way you think. We just do see it as kind of a blemish. At least on my video, I see it. Now, I don't know after it gets converted and put on YouTube because they compress everything. The quality drops. So you might not see it as well as I'm seeing it on the original footage. And that's what I say even about my boat videos um, and my observations that I do over the water is they might not come out as nicely as what I see them as in my footage and in my videos. Um, which I always hate that because I do see a big difference in them. Um, and I do notice how they, they squash them down and make them a little bit different in quality than what I see on my own computer screen. Um, but again, that's, that's, that's YouTube, not my conversion because I'm not compressing anything um, again I appreciate y'all watching thanks a lot and I hope y'all liked my last video too um, nice little comparison video as far as I'm concerned it does show a big difference in visibility limits and why we can't see different things uh, further away uh, but again, I leave that up to you as the viewer to decide. I am not trying to make you um, think one way or another. It's up to the personal person to think for themselves. All right. Thanks for watching.